David Menzies for Rebel News here in Ottawa. And folks, the marathon trial for Tamara Leach and Chris Barber, the organizers of the Freedom Convoy of 2022, it continues today. And if memory serves, this is day 44 of a mischief trial. And just think about that. Mischief. You know, mischief is usually something like, oh, I don't know, a kid spray painting the wall of a building. The idea that this is a trial that would go on for 44 days, let alone four hours, it's utterly preposterous. We have seen in the past 10 months in the streets of our great dominion, the pro-Hamas thugs going out and openly chanting for genocide. And what is the reaction? Well, the police do nothing. Actually, that's not quite true. In the uh, case of the uh, Toronto Police Service, they bring the members of the Hitler Youth Movement coffee and Timbits. You know, you want to keep them hydrated and uh, well-fed. Also, let's go back to the um, Black Lives Matter protests. Justin Trudeau himself took part in those demonstrations. He actually took a knee, took a knee against the prime minister, which he is, I suppose, whatever. But when it comes to Tamara Leach and Chris Barber and everybody else that was part of the Freedom Convoy, these are Canadians with so-called unacceptable views and they must be punished. We don't know how the judge is going to rule, but even if it's a not guilty verdict, given the time spent on this, and by the way, millions and millions of taxpayer dollars, the process is the penalty, wouldn't you say? Well, today, superstar lawyer Lawrence Greenspawn, he will be representing uh, Tamara Leach, and it should make for fascinating uh, testimony, to say the least. I'll be in the court uh, live tweeting. So there is more to come. Uh, let's hope this is the final day of this farcical trial, because that's what it is. Well, actually, it's worse than farcical. In my view, it's a miscarriage of justice. I think this is a vendetta against Tamara Leach and company by the Crown, because for the amount of time and the amount of money spent on this, it is equal parts outrageous and egregious. But like I said, Lawrence Greenspan will be in the courthouse today. It should make for fascinating viewing. Stay tuned.